here at the National Farm Machinery Show. I'm visiting with Robert Hendricks. And Robert, first of all, tell me what you do for New Holland. I'm a marketing specialist for the Dairy and Livestock Group, and I'm working with the marketing the new products this year, which we have two of them here today. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a real uh, legacy uh, segment of the industry for uh, New Holland, correct? That's right, and it's a good year to ask me that because we're featuring the disc spine with a new model this year, the mm -hmm. Model 313. It's a new mid-pivot machine. It's going to make a 13-foot cut, and it has our Chevron intermeshing rollers that came out uh, 50 years ago this year. So it's been around for a while. So uh, as a new product out here, um, tell me a little bit more about this machine and uh, what's really going to make this stand out in the field? Okay, that's a good question. The Model 313, as, as I said earlier, it makes a 13-foot cut. What we've done is we've given uh, the, the customers and the farmers an opportunity to get a redesigned 13-foot machine. It also has a big brother that has a couple of extra discs added to the ends of it that actually is a 16-foot cut. Mm -hmm. So it's called the 316. Bifolding doors, they're made out of a heavy duty composite material so they mm -hmm. won't get dented if you're out there and you have uh, a field that has obstructions in it. The bifolding door, because of the way the hinges are on it, bifolding door will allow an operator to move the doors back and get to the cutter bar regardless of the position of this tongue. That's pretty good because that means no matter how the tongue is positioned when you stop the tractor mm -hmm. and no matter which knife assembly you need to get to, because it's a bifolding door, you have access to the entire cutter bar area. That's a great thing. Another thing about the cutter bar is we changed the cutter bar on our pull type machines for this 13 foot and 16 foot series. We have used the cutter bar components that are also used on our larger wind rowers, the self propel machines. The turtle shells are a little different. They're lower in profile. We call that a profile skirt design. And I like to say that they're elongated. That means that it's further from this knife assembly back to this knife assembly. And on the 13 foot machine, they're all counter rotating. And that means that you don't have any one outside turtle area that has to send its crop inward. It's all dedicated to sending crop back. Crop goes back, but we still have the shear hub protection known as the Shock Pro Hub. Because this turtle is a different shape, the, the arc that it cuts is actually larger now, and that means that the operator can cut lower without tilting the bar. Hmm. You know, when you tilt the bar, you take more drag off the tractor, or it requires more horsepower. What I'm trying to hurry to is this beautiful set of rollers back here. This is so nice, we gave it a name. We're calling this the Wide Dry System. These rollers previously had been 102 inches wide, and now we're giving the 13-foot machine a pair of rollers that are 125, so you have more of the crop that actually gets mm -hmm. impacted by the conditioning roll surface to give the operator a better conditioning of a wider swath. Wow. So that makes it great. It's also not belt driven. You notice, you might notice that drive line comes back to the front of the trail frame, and then you have a PTO that goes over to the end because those components in that draw bar, oh, sorry, components in the cutter bar are so big, you can actually drive it from one side. Hmm. That's new for us. So those are some of the things that are features about it that make it neat. In addition to that, we're going to offer the swivel hitch in two varieties, the draw bar swivel and the two-port swivel. That's it. Got it. Well, let's uh, move on to the next step here. We've got also one of your new uh, balers on display. Okay. Let me show you this baler. We're going to pull that door down. Can we move right in here and pull the door down? Thanks, Bill. Wanted to give you a shot of the door here. Yes, sir. Featuring the new baler that's coming out this year that's called the Roll Belt 560. Part of our smart numbering is that the number matches the size of the crop package. So this would be a 5x6 baler. 
There's the beautiful door there on it, and we have the one that's on display here has our new pickup assembly. We've given it a new name, and it's called Active Suite. I'm going to show you in a minute more about Active Suite. We're featuring our extra heavy-duty tires. We also have heavy flotation tires. All in all, we'll have three tires that are available. Let's go out around back. All right. Following you. Let's take a dive in here. Come into my office. <laughs> This is what makes it so neat. This is the end, this is the rear side of the active sweep pickup. When the crop comes in right here, it's gonna hit these things right here. These are called tines. These aren't little tines. These tines are 14 inches from tip to tip. They're on a shaft and they're in a W-shaped pattern so that you can see right here. These black things are called strippers. The crop comes in, it hits the stripper right about in the middle and the tines carry it back to the roll, mm -hmm. to, to, to the steel rubber, uh, to the steel roll floor. Trying to hurry to let you know about this double flight auger. This shaft is the same as the one all the way across here. So on the ends you have the augers that move the crop inward. The flighting comes in further than the wall. You notice that over there? Yes. So you're going to bring the crop in. This is sculpted right here. I like to say it's dished out so that the crop can come in here and your operator will be more likely to fill the ends of the bale. All together, that's what makes this thing active sweet. In addition to that, we have two varieties of it. We have offering a five bar pickup and a four bar pickup. Great. We're also going to have net and net twine and net only. And we've made some changes over there on the net system in the way we run that. We're now running that with the motors. The actuators are not on here anymore like we had on our previous series. Mm -hmm. Well, the motors can actually yeah, the trailer up to the track. We're also offering three different varieties of belts. The ones that we're showing here are becoming popular. This is the endless belt. This is actually a big black rubber band. It truly is a seamless belt. There's no hidden uh, splice in there. The ends are uh, sealed edges too, and it's got a pattern here that's self-cleaning. Because when this pattern goes over, a, say, a three-inch uh, cylinder-shaped shaft, this comes more open, and so the debris can fall out. That's a neat thing, too. So, so those are some of the things yeah. that the new 5 by 6 bale. 5 six, and this uh, is out, is it in production now, or? I think it begins next this, month. Okay. So, like, get your order in now. That's right. The dealers were introduced to them last fall. Okay. And they've already had a chance to see that we're going to offer it with so, some different configurations, including our bale slice, right. you know, and, and uh, dry hay version and wet hay version. Special crops, I mean, uh, for corn stovers. So they've already ordered them, and mm -hmm. we're going to begin production soon. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Robert Hendricks with New Holland here at the National Farm Machinery Show. Learning what's new in their hay and uh, forage equipment line. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.